Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to our RimWorld Riddle of Steel playthrough. When we last left off, we had continued, or at least been attempting to continue our general fight to survive. We are also now actually have like a fully functioning temple system going over here. We're doing our research. We're working into learning about new gods. It's good stuff. All right, everyone is the Wolves' Den. Is that what we're called? I thought we were called the Golden Horde. That... Hold on a second here. Oh, this is the Wolves Den, and we're part of the Golden Horde, right. And we also have some starving animals. Good job. Oh, goody, look at that. Gold Tiger and Owl have been initiated. Nicely done. Oh, this is a nice, uh... Nice looking area for... For our animals, by as far as I can tell, it's, you know, aside from this uh, giant spider's web, that's kind of spooky. But uh, assuming our animals, oh hello, assuming our animals uh, do end up wandering over here. Actually, you know what? I'll just make another another animal area. I'll call it the pasture. A uh, new animal area, and we'll rename it pasture. And we'll just have them go over there and eat the grass for a day or so. I mean, they're probably fine over here. Probably. I don't want them eating my food. So, we'll tell everyone, go over to the pasture and eat. And, uh, what are these things? Dino Cheerius. I mean, we are low on food. We only have, like, one day... <coughs> Excuse me. One day worth of food, so we'll go ahead and hunt uh, these monsters. Maybe we'll even hunt these things. Probably, probably not a good. What are these exactly? Like, are they herbivores? Are they meat eaters? Uh, Dinocherius was, or Chiras, was a very unique creature with similarities to the ornithopods in terms of overall body shape and diet, with one distinct feature: its giant claws. Although the beast may have used its big claws for defensive purposes, the, pri uh, the primary function was most possibly bending the bodies of large. Oh yeah, we've read this. Never mind. Or did we? I feel like we read it. Anyway, all right, good. Are the animals... Yeah, the animals are migrating over here. I really should get the mod that increases uh, grass growth. Oh, crap. Um. Oh. Hello. I'm gonna just recruit the two of you and... Uh, attempt... Okay, and then run. This is going to be a fun time, isn't it? What are you doing? You can uh, join the... Uh... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Cat, what are you doing? You are also hunting... Okay. This is going to require some precision... Precision hunting here. Uh, who are you attacking? You are attacking Dragonfly. Dragonfly can also take make a run for it. Hawk can also make a run for it. Then like up here and then up here and then up here. We'll we'll do what we can. Okay, Dragonfly is just straight up dead. He's dead. Abandon abandon ship. Cat, also run. Please. Don't die. Alright, Gold Tiger, get in a little closer. Cat is the one who's gonna be, like, kiting these people. Okay, just shoot at one of them, please. Alright. Alright, we are, uh, we're probably dead. I just wanna emphasize that, but... And by probably dead, I mean... Is someone gonna save Dragonfly? That'd be nice. Owl, you're researching, you're busy right now. Badger, you're cutting a poplar tree. You can, uh, instead... Okay, Naked Snake, what are you doing? You're hauling some blocks. Instead, you can rescue Dragonfly. And we're gonna need to have a little bit of extra stockpile space, so we'll just go ahead and put it over in this corner. I mean, we're not really... We're not really doing anything with it, so might as well. Copy settings, paste settings, and then we'll be able to start hauling more stuff in there like this, uh... Thing right here. Okay. I mean, it. We're uh, we're doing okay as far as uh, like we're keeping these things kited around, which means uh, at some point they will die, probably. 
Oh, you clever, clever, sneaky bastard. <laughs> Alright. Well. Your time to get the heck out of here. Alright, now I've got a... Got to kind of... Yeah, do that. Then uh, you can, like, sneak around like this. It'll work. Eventually. Possibly. Major break risk. Cool ti Damn gummit, tiger. Witnessed an abysmal sermon. Attacked a preacher. Oh, boy. If you don't mind, Hawk, I'd actually really appreciate it if you'd maybe, like, attack the one you can actually see. I was waiting for that to hit. It was totally gonna do it. Oh, if you change, you're after cat. Okay, good, everyone's after cat again. If we can keep that going. Cat, cat, also cat. Okay, good. As long as, oh no. Don't, don't, what are you doing? Okay, you're finally getting around to hitting us here. 14 hours. You're going after gold tiger. Okay, everyone's after gold tiger now. In that case, Gold Tiger, you get the heck out of there. Why would you path that way? Come on. Don't do that. Alright. The hunt. The hunt is, uh... It's going acceptably well. Okay, you're running away. That's also acceptable. Badger, what are you doing? You are hauling some jade. That is acceptable again. Oh, lord. Oh, good, good, good. Just, uh, kill it. Okay, you see, it keeps changing who it, its mind on who it wants to kill. All right, run, cat, run. Why is there, like, such a slowdown where, like, they have to, like, stand there for 10,000 years before running away after, uh... After they shoot once. It's great. Okay, there we go. All right, everyone, uh, slow down. No, no, no. Tiger, before you do any... Or Hawk, before you do anything else, go ahead and, uh, finish hunting this. Good, good. Oh my god damn, why? Why do you do this to me? Oh boy. For the love of all that's good and holy, I hate, I hate all of you. I really do. You stupid pawns. I was just waiting for that to kill Tiger, Tigress. You are actually like, you're tar- you were targeting Tigress, you moron. Run, run Tiger, run. And you're going to take 10,000 years to kill that, aren't you? Come on. Run. Run, tiger, run. Oh, boy. Life is funny sometimes, isn't it? I mean, at least it's bleeding to death. That's... That's something we can all get behind, I like to believe. Okay, and then you just keep running. I mean, if we can get one shot in, and then... And then, uh, after that one shot... Man, this thing is moving much too fast. But it has only nine hours, so if, uh, Tiger's okay, right? Yeah, you're only bruised. Which logically shouldn't result in too much trouble, but then again, you're also basically moving at the same speed as this thing. And Hawk, if you don't mind, I'd like you to try at least downing this, and then we can worry about everything else later. Does anyone... Tiger, forget what you're doing there. Go ahead and rescue Tigress. If and you please. Someone actually hauled her weapon back before they bothered hauling her in. Ah, oh, boy. What camaraderie, huh? Wonderful times, really. Wonderful times. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. I know you can do this. It's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, there we go. Alright, everyone... Just leave these things to die, I guess. They'll bleed to death and then we'll haul their corpses in. Easy enough. Oh god, look at that. We're, we are out of food. No, 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 no. Well, actually, Hawk wasn't hurt. I also probably should have read why he did that. Oh, and Dragonfly needs some new clothes, but you'll be able to get dressed later. Oh boy. Colonists sometimes, huh? I mean, granted, I probably should have expected this to happen and I should have actually been babysitting them during the whole hunting process, but, uh, you know. Oh, well that's not good. Alright, so we're gonna have to do something with our, uh, 
our storage because this is not not acceptable excuse me this is actually almost grown so that that is acceptable okay how do i want to do this i mean right now it's 12 degrees outside i suppose i could just uh rush growing uh furniture here but i don't really feel like doing that right now so you know we'll get to it all right so we'll do this and then we'll put some passive coolers in here we actually probably only need the one. So I don't know why I was going to put them in like every single corner. Ugh. Actually, you know what? I might want to extend this and then kind of like do something with that. It'll it'll be fine. Probably. Hopefully fine. Non-ideal temperature. Good stuff. Yeah, Hawk, you're only starving because you're a moron who is refusing to, like, actually do anything with your life. Gold Tiger, how are you doing? What's your problem? You're urgently hungry. Well, get up and get something to eat, then. You also attacked a preacher. Oh, wait. No, that hasn't gone away yet. Seven hours. Right. I, I need to get some better beds for these guys. And Dragonfly needs a better weapon again. Okay. You can, uh, go ahead and equip your great bow. All right. So, overall, things are... Things are looking okay for our tribe, but they are looking a bit, a bit messy at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this in here, and maybe reinstall some of these chairs. Bully is being attacked by a giant- OH GOD, THE ANIMALS! Not Wooly. Um, I need people with guns. Naked Snake, get back out here. It's too late for Wooly. Wooly is going to die, but we can avenge his death. Poor Wooly, he's just a baby. Come on, you, you damned animals. Fight for your... Fight for your baby. I hate you. But then again, it, it's not dead yet. He only spun it up. I'm sure we can... I'm sure we can rescue it. Aw. Oh, he escaped. Yes. Good. Someone rescue an Owl. What are you doing? You're smoking meat. You can smoke meat later. We have to rescue Wooly. Okay, Beaver is rescuing Wooly. We have some visitors. Okay. Cool. Cool. Arr. Alright. Uh, Naked Snake, you are still work. What is this thing doing? It's just wandering right now. Should have known better. Oh, right, this is actually still marked as animal area. I'd get rid of that. Oh, I should have known better. But at least we managed to save Wooly. That makes me feel good about myself. That beaver. Oh, you're actually tending to Wooly right there. Cool. Nicely done. Where the heck is Naked Snake? No, 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 no. You... What? You're attacking it and then... That just baffles me. Baffles me and makes me angry. Oh, well. Such is life, man. Such is life. Okay, good job. Good job, Hawk. Wonderfully done. Uh, here's my trading spot. Why are you guys not going to the trading spot? Oh, will you not use the door? Well, that's just dumb. Oh well, we'll, uh, we'll do some trade with you. Why not? Then maybe we'll force some research on here. Uh, and we'll, like, sell some of these extra items that we don't really need. That's good, so I, I could keep it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. And normal, shoddy, shoddy. Well, that's normal, maybe I want to keep that. Okay, so that took a little while, and since these guys didn't have much to, like, much actual silver on them, it ended up not being all that great for us, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. Um, Owl, you can actually... Oh, Silver Tiger is going to do some cooking. Good. Beaver, meanwhile, is getting some research in there. Beaver's been initiated into the cult. That's good. Beaver Lee is wandering. Oh, did you have a mental break and I didn't notice? No, you are just idle. All right. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's force worship here. Get everyone to go on in here. And I am, again feeling to myself that there are a number of 
a number of mods that I would actually like to uh, reinstall here, but you know, we'll wait. We'll wait on that. And let's see, how did everyone feel about that sermon? Impressive. Barrick. It's very impressive and it's still minus two, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Eldest sermon. How does everyone feel about that sermon? It was a good sermon. Uh, very impressive. Okay, you didn't attend. Awful sermon. But you're not in the cult. Oh, you are in the cult. You just didn't like it, huh? All right. We're, uh, we're gonna have to work on this a little. More wor worshiping time. Are you, uh, gonna attend the mass? You'd probably attend the mass. No, no, no. I don't want you doing that. Okay, you're resting. Alright. So not everyone's going to attend, but we will force as much worship as possible with the intended idea here being to continue recruiting everyone into the cult. That way we can be sure that, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about people fighting or anything. Oh good, Naked Snake's been initiated. I guess let's, let's... Oh, there's a raid. They will prepare for a while then attack. Gotcha. Let's take a quick look here as we uh, go through things. I mean, you're cult-minded, you're kind of cult-minded, but you're not over the threshold yet. Culty, not very culty, culty, not very culty, sort of culty, sort of cult, or definitely culty, kind of culty, almost over the hump. Yeah, so once they're over here, then they'll be, uh, like over this little lump, then they'll be ready to accept our Lord and Savior, Haster. And also Cthulhu. Oh yeah, I never did get around to putting the... Whoa, there's a lot of you. We'll probably survive though, it's gonna be cool. Very cool. Abandoned camp opportunity. Anteater, chief, blah blah blah. Bandits build nearby camp. They'll give us an orbital power beam targeter. Oh, that's a good item. It's actually not that far away either. Let's, uh... In fact... Could always move there when we go take on said bandit camp. Okay, they're beginning the assault, so let's uh, recruit everyone, get you all into the field. I really need the defensive positions mod again. That way I don't have to manually set everyone every single time. Because that, that's just, you know, tedious, frustrating, slow, irritating, etc. There are many words to describe it, but these words are mine. Oop, gotta get rid of that tree as well. Oh, I've already got all three people who can fit there in there. Uh, cat, I don't want you there, I want you there. And dragonfly, you can go over here. And you, tigress, can stand over here, I guess, for now. Oh, and Mold, you can uh, stand over here. Alright, note to self, get rid of these trees, because they are proving to be somewhat irritating and unnecessary. Alright. Okay, here they come. Look, look, they're all, they're all doing it this time. I am gonna be pissed if they all... I don't know why you would walk along there. But, you know, makes my life easier. I mean, that, that worked out nicely. Look at that. And then they're running. Okay. I didn't expect them to actually, tr uh, like, insist on walking along the walls, though. That was a little bit much. And no one survived, huh? Not a single survivor in the batch. Alright. Good enough for me. Alright, so we'll just get back to work then, shall we? Ah, for once, RimWorld's wonky, at times, pathfinding system actually worked in my favor. And Gold Tiger, what is your problem? You're, right, the sanity loss. And joy deprived. Lots of stuff to work on here. Why, why do we have these gaps? It's weird to me. Anyway, so, you know, there's, there's life. Life out on the rim. It's actually going pretty well for us. Stuff's 32% grown. I might actually want to make this even bigger still. I'll wait until after the harvest, though. Okay, everyone's gathering for a sermon. Naked Snake, get up. You are not going to the sermon, apparently. 
That's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on. We'll be fine. And everything, everything actually ultimately worked out. I mean, I think what we've got right here is, like, a, it is enough as far as, like, security is concerned. We don't need to make it any, any more difficult than it already is. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. Actually, I wondered to myself, if I designed a system where, like, instead of this, it was just, like, a crisscrossy pattern of, of, uh, pitfall traps and deadfall. Actually, which one of these is better as far as, like, the damage is concerned? Uh, let's see here. Melee damage is 27. Melee damage is 60. And yet, it felt like these were... Of course, you'd figure with a pit trap, it would also, like, trap people inside, but, you know, RimWorld. I don't- I don't know how you would- how you would program that, like, given, uh, like, what exists. But then again, I mean, if you had something similar to how these webs work over here, I suppose it could work. And as for Charlotte, you'll eat anything, right? Okay, you know what? Charlotte's the only animal I'm going to let wander wherever the heck she wants to. And we have a lot of meat here that's going to spoil in a very short amount of time, so please get to work. In fact, it is such a big deal, we probably need a second one of those. Because there's no way we're going to cook this in time. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on. Also, frog, can you, uh, don't have wood. Wonderful. I thought we had a lot of wood, but I guess, uh, then again, if we're, we've been building all these things, I suppose I should not be surprised if we end up running out. Alright, so at least we can cook a bit faster, which will be very important for us. And let's see here, we'll say make pemmican, do until you have... I don't know, 1800, and same with the smoked meat. Or 1700. 1700 is good enough. Do until you have. Yeah. 1800, and that should, uh. Things should work, I guess is what I'm saying. Cat is. You're gonna refuel the oven, that's good. And let me guess, you stupidly are. You're fighting alone, and there's also like 10,000 of you. Alright, go home. Go home now. Oh, actually, you're dead. You are also dead. Huh. Oh, we actually did... We did okay for ourselves in this particular case, so this thing is... It's coming! Okay, this is gonna be a close one right here. Could we get some shots in, kill this thing between us? Theoretically possible. As unlikely as it may seem. You know, you don't need to reload while you got this thing on on your tail. I think we'd all be fine. Oh dear. That's a weird pathing decision, but, you know. Rimworld's pathfinding is a little weird sometimes, but, you know. We love it anyway. I should think. Weird as it can be. Alright, there we go. You guys have done your job. Someone will haul those corpses in eventually. This meat's all gonna rot away. Oh, no wonder they're not doing it. It's because there's no room for it. And, uh, who is our other cook? That would be Silver Tiger. Who is over here. You're gonna smoke some meat. Good. So, we'll, we'll smoke as much of this as we can. You know, and hopefully it'll... Hopefully it'll work out. I'm pretty confident it's gonna work out, but you never know. Also, I've kind of let this episode run a little bit long, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see all you in the next video.